stars, history's greatest pop stars. Oh, that, that one dude from Guar with the... Never mind. What they said. Craigslist. I'm just saying, why do we always have to talk about movies? Why can't we talk about literature or art or music? Oh, movie music! How do they all do that thing where they, like, say the words at the same time, melodically? You know damn well. You mean sing? Uh-huh. That. Or, like, are we talking like a hive mind here or what? Nope. Too dumb. Even for you. Too stupid. I humbly beg to differ. You can't question the logic of a movie musical's world. That's their own universe with its own set of rules and physical laws. That's the implied agreement for every movie argument. We don't question why the sky is blue or how gravity works. Sure we do. It's called science. Fine. We don't question why Superman can fly. Yeah, he's got an origin story. We know exactly why he can fly. It's jumping. Anyway, Michael, yeah, I always assumed it was telepathy. Oh, wait a minute, are we talking about movies again? Astute. Maybe every single musical universe is actually controlled by these master puppeteers who are just pulling the strings on everyone, like queen bees. It would explain why all the lead characters can get all those people to sing and dance all their problems for them. Wait, that puppet scene in The Sound of Music, what if that was a cry for help? Fine, okay, yeah. Let's do musicals. See? Like how Daniel thinks that he impacted the course of this conversation, when in fact we all dragged him along involuntarily with our superior will. We're all queens in that scenario. I'm okay with that. Ooh, money on the table for whoever sings their thoughts out loud. Sure. But imagine, thank you, how hard it would suck to actually live in that universe. Every time someone had an emotion to work through, you'd have to drop whatever you're doing and dance it out with them. Not always. Uh, sometimes there are solos. I thought we already did Star Wars. Plus, if we were in a musical, getting up and singing along with the elderly alley cat's existential crisis, that would be second nature to us. Let's not beat around the bush here. Didn't we already do torture porn? What are we really talking about? My background players subverting their freedoms for the master protagonist, singing and dancing all the while? What would we call those folks? Seriously? You think musicals are slavery-based? No, those background actors aren't repressing anything. They're happy to do it. They're part of a group. It's a community activity. Oh, like Nazism. Stop trying to ruin musicals. I think it's just a reflection of real life. Not everyone gets to be a star. Charismatic people naturally draw others around them. Like Hitler. Like Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Either one of those guys work in this scenario. You know, just because the camera focuses on particular people at particular times doesn't mean the background players don't get their own songs. We just don't see them. Ugh, no, that would be even worse. So for every song we see, there are hundreds off camera? Every kid in Greece school gets their own song, like, whenever? Whenever, like, a thing happens to them? Uh, we're living in that world now. It's called Facebook. Do dog farts smell bad because of what they eat? Or is it something about their buttholes? Post. But what if people were actually singing their status updates? I mean, the noise would be deafening. Oh, uh, Michael likes George Takei's photo. Okay, so maybe all those background actors are just the people who couldn't sing or dance well. Maybe in every musical world, there's a bunch of tone-deaf, ugly people filling the suburbs, singing a bunch of shittily written songs about their mundane lives, screwing up their choreography left and right. Does that mean if you can't fit your emotions to a rhyme scheme, you don't get to express them? Quick, what rhymes with incorruptible glory? Not being able to rhyme is the tip of the iceberg. Riceberg, Niceberg, Liceberg. I would be a god. Where are the disabled in West Side Story or The Sound of Music? Where are the old and the infirm? Where are the mentally challenged? Well, we know where they are in The Sound of Music. Uh, there's a disabled kid in Newsies. Crush you, take a collection. They named the handicapped kid after his handicap? Oh, is that funny? Little Ritalino, take your pill. Oh, take your pill. In a universe that treasures physical coordination, there is no room for the imperfect. I mean, maybe every musical universe has their own little nursing home where they cram all the people that can't dance. Or maybe everyone is a great performer. By the time they're old enough to talk or coordinate their limbs, everyone around them has been singing and dancing the whole time. How many hours does it take to become expert at something? 10,000. Okay, so an average of... 105.5. That's not even close. Roughly. Nope. Well, I'm rounding to the thousand. Who are so you trying to convince? My point is, maybe the people we see front and center sing and dance all the time because they're addicts. Do the people get high from singing and dancing? Kinda. It's like a disease that only a few of them have. That's why you don't hear every background character singing out of every open window in every musical. In a musical universe, 
it makes more sense that the people singing and dancing are just a sick minority. Everyone else is like us. They've just gotten used to it over time. Wow, so the leads in musicals are just like the sad homeless people who are talking to themselves on the curb. So every musical world is populated by a whole group of people who are just mentally ill and don't know any better but to sing their thoughts. Maybe the Glee Club room in Glee is actually the special needs room. You guys, it's like cool epilepsy. That's why you never hear anyone else sing. Or maybe we're the mentally ill ones. Maybe the people in the musical are behaving the way that humanity was always meant to be. Am I right? Yes, you are, yeah. But uh, I am, I am right. See, there's this theory that the only other animals that sing are birds who live in trees and whales and seals and dolphins who live in the sea. The implication being that as soon as an animal, let's say a primate, touches the ground, they have to be cautious because they're vulnerable to predators. Singing would be like wearing a Jets jacket to a shark fiesta. Mm, that was racist. We don't sing as a form of communication because we feel too exposed, but the second that we got sound in movies, we made the first movie musical. Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Close, the jazz singer. There was a compelling, natural instinct to make an actor sing because singing is the best way to express our inner lives. I just I couldn't do it all the time. Well, I get it. I mean, in The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's Kansas world is like our world. Busy, gray, no one has time for it. In Oz, Dorothy's still got problems, but at least she's not alone. Don't forget all of the disabled people who are freely accepted in Oz. Oh, sure, no heart, no brains. Little people everywhere. That's racist. Oh. That's racist, deedle 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 dumb. I knew you had it in you, buddy. No, he doesn't earn $20 for that song. I can't even use this. I only use plastic. I tried to use plastic money, they wouldn't take it. They were like, this is toy money. I was with him, it was Monopoly money, and we were at a Costco. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I just want to talk to you about a pretty serious thing. This is Cratchy Later stuff I've been seeing in the comments recently. And that's like pretty 2012. So we're going to go forward in 2013 with a new slogan, Cratchy Doing. So thanks for stopping by and subscribe. Cratchy Doing.